Today we will be discussing about the technical side of my latest photoshoot. Hey guys, my name is Laura Laukkanen and I'm one of the editors at SLR Lounge. You can also find me on Facebook at Laura Laukkanen Photography. As I said, today we will be talking about the technical side of my latest photo shoot and my latest photo series titled Inferno. We'll be talking a little bit about the location scouting process as well as lens choice and camera settings. I hope you guys enjoy and with that said, let's get started. Let's start off by talking about the location scouting process. About a week before I organized this photo shoot, me and my friend Konsta Linkola, who is a photographer and videographer and also knows how to blow fire, together we organized a test photo shoot. During this photo shoot we tested out all sorts of camera settings, different lenses and tried to learn about the aesthetics of photographing fire. Once we got that down, we felt confident enough to organize this bigger photo shoot. Our vision for the photographs was to photograph them in an old abandoned factory. We sent out some Facebook messages asking people if they would know about any locations like this and luckily one of Consta's friends uh, knew about an old abandoned uh, storage house about an hour from where I live. So we decided that that would work as our location and about a week after our test photo shoot we drove there. But when we arrived at this uh, old storage house, we were faced with our first obstacle because the storage house was not abandoned. Government had bought it and used it now as a storage room for tractors and big vehicles, so we couldn't photograph there. Luckily, Riku, our behind the scenes videographer, remembered that he had uh, seen an old abandoned factory about 20 minutes from this place, and as all our equipment was still in the car, we just hopped in the car and drove to that old factory. When we arrived at this factory, we were just in awe. The, it was just perfect for our purposes. It was old, abandoned, it had huge, huge halls, it had smaller rooms, it was just amazing and just what we were looking for. So even though our first location didn't work out, we found another one and decided to photograph there. So, now that you know how we found our location, let's talk about the camera settings. Photographing fire is very interesting as if you really want to preserve all the texture of the fire, you have to use a very quick shutter speed. That also means that you won't be able to use flashes or any artificial light. So, it's really the, the challenge is in finding the balance between a quick shutter speed and getting enough ambient light in. I used the Canon 17 to 40 mm f4L lens for all of these photographs. For this particular photograph, I used a shutter speed of 1 5,000th of a second and an aperture of f5.6. Our ISO was up to 2,500 and my focal length was 17 mm. These camera settings gave us enough texture into the fire but also allowed enough ambient light to enter inside the camera. And the wide angle that we used gave this majestic feeling to the photograph. This photograph is very similar to the first one. Really the only difference is the angle that we used and some minor tweaks in the settings. For this photograph we used a shutter speed of 1 8000th of a second at an aperture of 4.5. We dialed down the ISO down to 2000 and the focal length remained the same, 17 millimeters. This last photograph is a totally different situation. We found a small room inside the factory and decided that we would try and fill it up with fire. As the room is smaller, the walls reflected the fire and that way gave more ambient light and this way we could tweak our settings a bit again. For this particular photograph we used a uh, an a shutter speed of 1 8,000th of a second, so the quickest that we could go. And this way we preserved as much detail and texture in the fire as possible. And then we used an aperture of f5.6. Our ISO was at 2000 and this time we used a focal length of 28mm as we really didn't need to go that wide anymore. 
So now you guys understand a little bit more about the technical side of this photo shoot and what went into the planning of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or more information that you would like to know just leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer all of those questions. Also make sure to tune in back next Tuesday as I will be showing you guys how I edited these photographs in Lightroom and Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next Tuesday. Bye!